Hi everyone, this is Heyday Tinker Terry and welcome to my farm. I am hoping that I can get through this video. I have been trying for the longest time, for weeks now, to um, make videos. I'm not quite sure exactly what's going on. So I'm not sure if this video is going to even turn out, but I'm going to give it a try. Since I was on earlier on YouTube and was able to not buffer after uh, just a short time. I believe the problem uh, started when, well, first of all, I live in California and I don't know how many of you have uh, been listening to the news about how we have been having a lot of power outages, planned power outages from our local gas and electric company, PG&E. Uh, there's been so many power outages going on. Uh, it started, I believe, when uh, PG&E, uh, well, we had a, a really bad wildfire, which we have a lot of bad wildfires every year here in California. But PG&E had gotten in trouble because um, they, and they were sued by, uh, I guess, the state of California and various places because uh, they were found to be the cause of a wildfire that destroyed the small town of Paradise, California. Totally destroyed it. And it was shown that through the years, PG&E decided to not do the infrastructure and work that they need to be doing and um, to maintain their their lines and their towers and all, and all that that they decided to well basically line their own pockets and so they were sued and lost and so now PG&E is taking it out on us customers here in California that every time they uh, every time they get any kind of news report that there's going to be any wind at all they have these massive power outages that have, uh, well, that go for days and they, you know, we we just have to live with it. We have to deal with it. And they say they're basically going to be continued. And they're, we just feel they're taking it out on us because they're, um, you know, there's no end in sight over something that because of their lack of failure to prepare their equipment. But anyway, well, moving on from that, um, so I'm tomorrow, okay, today is trucks, sugarcane, and feeding animals. Um, I guess I'm sure we can go in here. What I had found not long after the first power outage was that I was having a hard time uh, my internet started being really slow and whoops I don't want to do that I'm going to be careful my internet was going really slow and I trying to uh, play the, the game or talk in neighborhood chat and then it, and it continued to get worse it uh, ended up to where second here I'm sorry um, it ended up to where I'd go on YouTube and I'd buffer you know every time I'd get on YouTube you know after you know a few seconds to a 30 seconds to a minute or so uh, things would start buffering and then I started trying to make videos and I would my game would be so slow 
and it would freeze and uh, I would get buffering too so I would end up not being able to make my videos or have them come out and then sometimes if I did manage to get a small short video you know that I considered was worth um, uploading then <laughs> then it would um, take forever to start uploading and then I would end up getting an error message saying that uh, something went wrong so I don't know uh, I'm sorry I was like I guess I'm just going on here because I'm not even sure at any time this video could just start buffering and, and go out too so I don't mean to be complaining and, and stuff but um, I just kind of wanted to let everyone know what was going on no I, I haven't intentionally stopped making videos and I am hoping that maybe uh, Heyday is, or not Heyday, <laughs> the electric company has fixed its wiring on this end um, and hopefully, gosh I should have been making, I better save this one, um, yeah I just I just um, I'm hoping that they're getting their self back on track and not keeping us any longer from enjoying our internet service too because apparently the wiring uh, cables have been mixed in with their electrical cables too and that's what we've been told because at first they were trying to blame it on our uh, you know electric or our like I have spectrum cable they were trying to blame it on my cable company and the cable company says no it's not us so uh, and then finally they did admit that they were having some issues with the line so anyway um, I'm hoping that this is good news here that I will be able to be back because I'm not buffering things seem to be going a little bit smoother here and so I'm hoping this is a good sign. We'll spin the wheel. Yeah, I've, um, I'm truly sorry to everyone for, you know, uh, making you possibly feel that I'm not going to be making videos or have been interested. That's not the case. And I do appreciate everyone reaching out to me that has, and so many of you have, and it's made me feel so good to know that you are interested in my videos and I, and I thank you for that and um, I'm, not, I'm sorry for uh, not being more active but I when I try to go on say Phoebe's um, or you know anyone uh, live streams I buffer and I get in chat and try to write in chat and it's just it was just so slow and I'm just like oh it's just ridiculous so you know I I I guess you could say I've been uh, kind of depressed kind of really very depressed and so it's been hard for me to function well and so I apologize about that but Hopefully things will will get get uh, going better again. As long as we don't, well, I wish you didn't say this because it's likely to happen soon. Another power outage. But we'll we'll see. Well, I'll just do the best I can while I can. And well, it's nice to be able to <laughs> finally move around my screen without being so laggy slow and hopefully I'll be able to get back in my Fred videos and I remember last time my last video about Fred I had told you that 
I had a secret about Fred. Well, I do have a secret about Fred that, I had, that I've held a long time now, as you can tell. But I had told, I had told um, Rosie about what I had, what the secret was. And she kept it for a while, but she was having a really hard time with it. She felt bad for Ernest and she didn't feel that it was right to keep it from him. And so I agreed and so uh, there's still some stuff going on there with Ernest and I'll have, have to go into that a little bit later about Ernest and Rose and Fred. But the secret is, uh, I'll go ahead and give you that now since it's been a long time and I know a lot of you have been waiting because there's more things that happen after uh, the fact of the secret. And that, that secret is, Fred is back. Fred has been back for a while and you can see a lot of the work that he has done around here. He's fixed a lot of things up. Uh, well, he set up Hall Halloween decorations and and things like that, and built some new fences and things. And yeah, it's, that's like my new fences over there, and uh, some more places. Oops, better. Well, I never did get these. Uh, they all have. But yeah, he's, he's done a lot of work on the farm since he's been back. But I can't wait to tell you all about the things I've learned about Fred and, and where he's been. And, come on, <laughs> the, the, the things about Fred that I've learned. And they're pretty interesting things, if I do say so myself. And I will be letting you in on all those. But the thing is, is Fred is back and he is home safe and he's been a sneaky little character, I'll tell you that. But uh, he, um, he felt it was for a just cause at the time and, and that he left, well, that he was missing. And I don't blame him. And I think somebody learned a lesson over it. And... Uh, but it just couldn't keep going on any longer, especially since I found out and then I told Rose and then Rose just had a hard time keeping it from Ernest. So uh, so I figure if, okay, Ernest knows, then, then there's not a chance that you're going to tell Ernest if I tell you because he already knows. So anyway, I think I will let this video end for now since I've seemed to have gotten through it and I will be back with more um, in my next video I will think I will collect the prizes and maybe go to the valley and do that and because I have some uh, fuel saved up and we'll, we'll do things like that and we and as I said it's a give me a little bit more time and hopefully things will stay running and and we'll go into some of the things about Fred and what's been happening to him and what happened to him and and everything. As you can see, both Ernest and Rose are at work. So, and oh, real quick, I had learned that, well, I had been leaving the items that Rose leaves uh, up on the, the hillside there and not collected them. But someone had told me that you can only leave up to 10 items there or she won't leave anymore. So I just always make sure that I have less than 10 items there. So that way, what I'm trying to do is save room in my barn, you know, barn space. And I do the same thing in my town and leave uh, at least like six of the town uh, items there or the items that I get from the town saws axes whatever but anyway okay well um, I'll let you go for now it looks like I made this so I made it through without 
Uh, hopefully it will upload, so I, I want to get done before it gets too long. So thank you very much. And again, I'm sorry for, for not being here, being able to be here sooner, but hopefully it's we're back. Hopefully I'm back. And thank you very much for your patience. And uh, I hope you're doing well wherever you are in your part of the world, day, night, evening. And until next time, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Take care and bye.